First of all, it's uh, great to have you guys here. You've been to get 25 years is a long time to be a uh, well, I guess you weren't a team when you started. You're on the same team. You being assistant coach, you being player. You were a rookie when you guys met. I believe it was my second year. Second yeah. year? After he was rookie of the year. I see. Oh, then he right. became a prima donna. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How quickly did that transformation happen? Was it during the rookie season, or did it happen over the course of the off season? The prima donna? I yes. Even know. <laughs> prima donna. <laughs> it didn't happen. It no. never happened. No, no, no. no. He was just a, a, a scrummy, just hang around the gym. Nerdy, workaholic. <laughs> I mean, that's what I remembered. And here we are now, all these years. What do you remember, Jeff, about Mark? What was your first impression of him? Well, he was an instigator. Oh. Right? Yeah. So we, back then, we had a, a small forward named Johnny Newman. Okay. Yeah. And he came in with a new car one day. And so Mark says to uh, a couple guys, and I overheard him, said, I'm going to convince this other guy we had named Gerald Wilkins <laughs> to buy a new car. So he started saying, Jay New, man, that car is nice. You got a nice car. <laughs> Kept going all day, all day, all through practice. Next day, Gerald Wilkins, new car. Wow. <laughs> it's a Jedi mind trick you had there. We're going to be in a leader, that's all. <laughs> leader. <laughs> Do you, are you a car guy? Did you have a fancy car yourself? You know what's funny? My first year, uh, the first big purchase I made, I bought a 735 BMW gold rims. The unbelievable thing is, I'm probably the first rookie of the year in history of sports that lived in the same house that I was as a senior in college. So I stayed, I'd play in Madison Square Garden, have a great game, go back home in the bedroom with my three brothers sharing the bedroom with my family. Really? <laughs> Unbelievable. And my BMW sitting outside of my house, <laughs> the only BMW on the block, you know? <laughs> Unbelievable. That Unbelievable. must have been quite a surprise when you brought ladies home, I guess, huh? <laughs> These are my brothers. This is my. <laughs> I didn't bring ladies. Home. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you wouldn't. Did you drive? A, I don't imagine you driving a a big flashy car. Am I correct on that? No, I, I drove a. For most of the time, I drove a Honda Civic, but now I'm up to a Toyota Camry. Oh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I got the guy was coaching the New York Knicks with a Honda Civic. <laughs> Come on. When you were head coach, you yeah the Honda Civic really yeah. It, 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 it died a, a tragic death. How too. did the Honda Civic die? <laughs> well, we were coming home from a playoff game against Miami. Fifth game, we lose. So now we're chartering home late at night. And when you land at this small airport we flew into, the cars were on the tarmac. And mine was always first, so I was usually first up. But we had um, pilots that weren't used to parking that way. So instead of just coming in and parking, they did the circle around to get to the park. So I saw my car there. And then as they circled and they parked, and I got off, my car's not there. <laughs> and I said to our video coordinator who's given me stuff, I said, today's not the day to mess with me. We're down 3-2 now. Just, where's my car? And he goes, uh, over there. It was like 50 yards away, because when he pulled around, the exhaust <laughs> of the jet sent my car straight up, <laughs> totaled my car and three other cars. I would say it was the power of prayer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get it out of here. I am Jimmy Kimmel. Want to see more? Well, subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking here. It's just like subscribing to a magazine, but without those annoying cards that fall out of them.